Hello students, in this video we are going to solve a few CSIR and GATE questions as from aromaticity. Let's begin with this question. The compound that is not aromatic is, there are four ions given, a cation, an anion, another anion and one more, this is a dianion. Okay. <clears throat> We have to find out the one which is not aromatic. Look at the first one. This is this is tropylium ion, so this is aromatic. Look at this one, cyclopentadienyl anion. This is also aromatic. This one is the diene, uh, sorry, dianion. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Five pairs of pi electrons. Five is an odd number. So this is also aromatic. And this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 pairs of pi electrons. So this is anti-aromatic. In case, if you assume that this is non-planar, then this molecule is non-aromatic. Okay. So either way, this is not aromatic. Remaining 3 are aromatic. So this one is anti-aromatic and non-aromatic okay so B is the answer my sincere appeal is kindly go through the previous videos I have uploaded especially the first part of aromaticity because it consists of all the fundamentals of aromaticity if you view that you will be able to follow this uh, um, problems without any problem okay without any difficulty Okay, let's go to the next one. Among the following compounds, the one that is non-aromatic is, okay, the question there, in the previous question they have asked, the one that is, the previous question they have asked, the one that is not aromatic. Not aromatic means it can be anti-aromatic or it can be non-aromatic. But here specifically they have asked, the one that is non-aromatic. Okay. Look at this. This one is cyclooctatetraene, 18, 8 anulene. Okay. We have already seen that this molecule is not planar. It is a tub-shaped molecule. Since it is a tub-shaped, planarity is absent. So this molecule is non-aromatic. This is non-aromatic. Look at this one. This is benzene intermediate. Here also 1, 2, 3, 3 pairs of pi electrons, 3 is an odd number, so this molecule is aromatic. And if you look at this cyclobutadiene, cyclobutadiene, 1, 2, 2 pairs of pi electrons, 2 is an even number, this is anti-aromatic. And third one, this is a bridge 10 anulene, this is aromatic, we have already discussed in the previous videos. Look at the pi electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 pairs of pi electrons, 5 is an odd number, so this molecule is aromatic. So these 10 electrons are in one plane, it is planar and they are in one plane. And there are odd number of pairs of pi electrons, so this molecule is aromatic. And this one, this methylene proton, it is supposed to give signal from 0 to 1 ppm, but it gives minus 0 0.5 ppm minus 0 0.5 ppm so it is extremely shielded less than TMS the reason is it is just the methylene proton is located just exactly above the plane of the ring 10 member ring so the induced magnetic field generated by this protons will oppose the applied magnetic field if you apply a magnetic field from here in the proton NMR uh, machine the induced magnetic field generates a magnetic field and its direction okay its vector it opposes the direction of this one okay so it is more shielded because this methylene proton comes in the diamagnetic zone or opposing zone we have clearly discussed in the previous videos okay kindly go through it so the question the question is the one that is non aromatic or this is aromatic this is aromatic and this one is anti aromatic but the question is non aromatic so Option A is the answer.
if this is a CSIR question, the correct statement about the following species is here is a dication and here is a cyclic ether. The options are both A and B are aromatic, A is aromatic, B is anti aromatic, A is non aromatic, B is anti aromatic, and A is aromatic, B is homo aromatic. Look at this. B is homoaromatic. Homoaromatic uh, properties are observed in very few compounds and they are cations. Okay, neutral molecules, homoaromaticity, as far as I know, unknown until now. Okay, so B is certainly not a homoaromatic. It should be a cation if that is the case. That is also limited. One or two cations are um, given in the textbooks. So certainly this is not homoaromatic. So this option you can avoid. And if we go to, now look at the molecules. 1, 2, 3. 3 pairs of pi electrons. 3 is an odd number, so this is aromatic. Look at this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pairs of pi electrons. 4 pairs of pi electrons, is, it is anti-aromatic. 4 is an even number, so B is anti-aromatic. Where is that option? A is aromatic. A is aromatic, B is anti-aromatic. Okay, so option two, option two. Okay, option two. A is aromatic, B is anti-aromatic. Okay, look at this. This question is a jam question, I think. Arrange the following compounds in the rate of in the rate of solvolysis. Arrange the following compounds in the rate of solvolysis. What is solvolysis? When a solvent plays a dual role as a solvent and as well as the nucleophile, then it is solvolysis. So basically, it is a substitution reaction. Okay. Solvent, solvent acts as a nucleophile. These are all SN1 reaction. So once the bromine is uh, removed, eliminated, so bromine, bromine leaves the uh, leaves from the substrate you will be getting cations isn't it so here is the cation cyclopentadienyl cation and this one for this you will be getting tropelium cation and here for this you will be getting Okay, benzylic cation. So we get three types of cations. Let me rewrite the cation. This also let me write here. Okay, there are three cations I am getting. After bromine is left, we get three cations. Look at the stability. This is tropylium and as we know this is aromatic. And this is cyclopentadienyl cation. This is anti-aromatic. This one we can't speak about the aromaticity. Okay, it is for cyclic compounds only. But if you look at the stability, this one is more stable than okay. Benzyl cation is more stable than the cyclopentadienyl cation because cyclopentadienyl anti-aromatic. It is extremely unstable. Anti-aromaticity is a destabilizing phenomena. It is unstable. But this one is comparatively stabler than the cyclopentadienyl cation. Okay. Okay. And this one, tropelium man is aromatic, so it is extremely stable. So if I write the stability order, okay, this one, um, tropelium ion, let me give the numbers, 2, okay, 2, tropelium ion, it is the most stable, then this one, okay, the, the cation, cyclopentadienyl cation is the least stable, Cyclopentadienyl cation is the least stable one. Benzyl cation comes in between that. Okay. Benzyl cation comes in between that. Okay. So, the option is 2 is the most 
the greatest one then three then one okay because two gives tropilimayan three gives the benzyl cation and one gives the, the least stable aromatic cation as a result the one goes the least one two becomes the biggest one and three comes in between so this way the solvolysis order is established for this reaction okay so c is the answer look at this one the compound the compound that gives precipitate on warming with aqueous agno3 agno3 we warm with agno3 you get a precipitate means it is a halide silver halide silver chloride or silver bromide let us look at this here everywhere there are bromines so the precipitate is silver bromide if the precipitate is silver bromide means after losing the bromine what is there here after losing the bromine bromide ion the corresponding cation should remain what is the cation here here the corresponding cation is phenyl cation here the corresponding cation is cyclopentadienyl cation here the cation is tropylium cation here the cation is pyridinyl cation okay after losing bromide ion you get the corresponding cations which cation is stable because that cation is going to form so that the bromine loss of bromide is quite easy so the formation of silver silver bromide is also easy so the stable cation is going to decide the formation of the precipitate which is the stable cation we know this is cyclo pentadienyl cation this is anti aromatic we have already studied here tropylium ion this is also this is aromatic we know okay and let us come to this one phenyl cation phenyl cation is unstable unstable because this is sp2 sp2 there is an there is a vacant sp2 orbital here in this cation okay this vacant sp2 orbital lies in the plane of the ring if it lies in lies perpendicular to the plane of the ring there is a possibility of resonance because there are other p orbitals lying perpendicular to the plane but here it is in the plane of the ring so there is no possibility for resonance okay with this empty sp2 orbital as a result since there is no resonance so this cation is unstable okay no resonance so it is unstable if we come to this one this also like that same thing in fact it is even more unstable because benzene is electron deficient species it is vulnerable sorry pyridine is electron deficient species it is vulnerable for nucleophilic attack rather than electrophilic attack so in such an electron deficient species a positive charge is absolutely not good so this is even more unstable than phenyl cation so unstable unstable so let us leave all the unstable species this is anti aromatic as i told you anti aromaticity is a destabilizing phenomena so anti aromatic compounds are unstable compounds so this is also unstable but this one is stable because it is aromatic so tropylium ion is the most stable ion it is stabilized by aromaticity so this one okay this compound will Uh, so this compound will efficiently lose the bromide ion to form the precipitate because the resulting cation is stable okay so 3 is the answer precipitate formation is very facile in the compound 3 okay let us see this one the compound that is anti aromatic is the compound that is anti aromatic is look at this this is first of all the compound 2 it is a bicyclic compound okay bicyclo 2.2.2 octa triene 
So basically it is a bridged compound, bicyclic compound. So this is non-planar, non-planar, non-planar. So this is non-aromatic. Okay. This is non-aromatic. And if you look at this one, this is a cyclic compound, maybe planar, but one, two, three, three pi electrons, but here there is an sp3 carbon. sp3 carbon. sp3 means it is a saturated carbon. Since there is a saturated carbon, there is no possibility of resonance. Cyclic conjugation is not possible. Conjugation is like that, from here to here electron come, but it is not a cyclic conjugation because interrupted, the sp2 carbons are interrupted by an sp3 carbon. Unsaturated carbons are interrupted by a saturated carbon, so there is no cyclic conjugation. So this molecule is non-aromatic. If you look at this one, this is nothing but O minus. This way it can be written, isn't it? Cyclopropenone can be written like this. And look at this. This is nothing but cyclopropenyl cation. We know that this is aromatic. So this molecule is also, cyclopropenone is also aromatic. So certainly this is going to be the answer. Option 1 is going to be the answer. How is it non-aromatic? You can ask, how is it non-aromatic? Let us look at this. This is uh, the, the compound, the boron compound given. So let me draw p orbital perpendicular to the plane of the ring. Everywhere p orbital. And here is also a p orbital. Everywhere we have electrons, one, one electron. But here, this one is the, the boron. Boron is sp2 hybridized. And the p orbital, unhybridized p orbital is located perpendicular to the plane plane of the triangle, okay, it is a trigonal planar geometry, so it is unhybridized orbital is located perpendicular to the plane of the ring. This is perpendicular to the plane, but parallel to the other p orbitals, okay, this is empty, empty p orbital, okay. Since it is parallel to the p orbital, there is a resonance, okay, there is overlap, there is overlap. So cyclic conjugation is achieved. Okay. Cyclic conjugation uninterrupted. Cyclic pi electron cloud is achieved. But if you look at the number of pi electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4 pi electrons. 4 is an even number. Sorry. 4 pi electron means 2 pairs. 2 is an even number. 2 is an even number. So the molecule is anti-aromatic. Okay. Anti-aromatic. That is why this molecule is anti-aromatic. Okay. So, option A is anti-aromatic. Hmm. This is a very interesting question. The compound azulene, okay, azulene is aromatic and has a high dipole moment. It is aromatic and has a low dipole moment. It is non-aromatic and has a high dipole moment. It is anti-aromatic and has no dipole moment. You need to find out the right option. Azulene has a very interesting feature. Azulene has a very interesting feature. Please uh, listen to that. If I draw the structure of azulene like this. Hmm. Let me redraw like this. This is azulene. I can draw the resonance structures like this. If I draw the resonance forms,
then over oh, here that is okay then this resonance like that okay anyway the resonance hybrid is like this this resonance hybrid is the resonance hybrid goes like this here the negative charge here the positive charge okay so positive charge is located on the seven membered ring negative charge is located on the five membered ring you look at this one it is nothing but cyclopenta dienyl anion it is aromatic we know and if you look at this one cycloheptyl trienyl cation tropylium ion that is also aromatic okay this is also aromatic and that is also aromatic so negative charge should be located on the five member ring positive charge should be located on the seven member ring if it is exchange if it is the opposite way the five member ring with the positive seven member ring with the negative charge what will happen both are anti aromatic so there is no use of it so in order to ensure two aromatic rings okay aromatic cation and an aromatic anion this molecule remains positive on one side negative on the other side so it so to achieve fusion of two aromatic rings that is why this molecule has positive charge on the five, seven membered ring negative charge on the five membered ring to gain cyclopentadienyl anion and tropylium cation that is why there is a concrete charge there is a distinct dipole moment mu is equal to 1.0 d by but if you look at this one naphthalene okay if you look at naphthalene here the dipole moment is zero zero d by the reason is here also five electrons 1 2 3 4 5 and azulene also five electrons look at that 1 2 3 4 5 five is an odd number it is an aromatic here also you have five electrons okay i mean five pairs of electrons so this is also aromatic this is also aromatic but there is no such charge separation as a result dipole moment is zero so some questions used to be asked in the degree exams azulene has a uh, permanent dipole moment but naphthalene has zero dipole moment why the reason is azulene there is a charge separation naphthalene there is no charge separation okay so both are aromatic so the answer is aromatic and has a high dipole moment okay answer is answer is the azulene is aromatic and has a high dipole moment okay hope you understood we'll meet in the next video with few more examples okay so if you have any queries any comments suggestions please write in the comment box wish you all the best thank you very much and we'll meet in the next video thank you